All right, we've got the uh, Pioneer SX1280, 185 watt unit. I have the I have the lid off. I have the pan off, and um, we're just gonna do a quick uh, overview of what the plan is here. Um, already ordered all the all the caps, and transistors, um, diodes, and uh, some resistors to have just in case. I already have a pretty good supply of resistors, but uh, I like to uh, have a, some uh, half watt uh, resistors on hand in case there's any problems. Um, but this is a fully functioning system right now, and it sounds really good. But, you know, you've got 50 years on all these capacitors, so you're starting to lose some of the, your some of your tone. Um, particularly, there's no hum or anything in it, um, but these filter caps are going. Um, the debate is, do I replace the filter caps or do I keep the originals? There's some people who say, keep the originals, keep the originals. My problem with that is these are almost 50 years old. They're, they're sagging. They're, they're done. And, you know, they may not be humming, but... Their job of filtering and smoothing out a DC signal is is you know nearing its end of life, if not already dead. Um, you know the idea with the filter caps. You know when you're at wall AC, a sign cam sign alternating sign, but it still has these little spikes going through it like this, up and down, up and down, up and down, and that's noise. All right, or we call it ripple. Um, <clears throat> what these capacitors do is they charge up, they fill up with that spiky signal and then out the other end comes a nice smooth line all right so that is what a filter caps job is is to essentially clean up all the noise of a dc signal of a dc uh, current all right now the thing with these is you know these are 15,000 uf 100 volt which when these were being produced in in, in the factory you know they were you know calculating everything you know figuring out what how much you know how much microfarads are needed to smooth the signal 15,000 is what they calculated as is needed <laughs> all right it's not what would be best all right so with these you can typically want to go up a couple thousand microfarad um so you know i'm bumping these up to 22,000 not only for that but also you know technology has reduced the size of these so if you want a good fit um, original fit, you're going to have to step it up a couple thousand typically, um, you know, for the larger ones. Smaller ones, if you're dealing with like a 30 watt amp or something, you know, you may have a, a 2000, you know, microfarad UF, uh, you know, filter cap in there. And you can maybe bump that up to 3000 um, to meet the original size. But uh, these are two and a half inch wide by four inch deep. And so, uh, you know, some 22,000 uh, UF and 100 volt will fit in there very nicely. And that's going to clean that that sign up, that, clean that DC voltage up real nice. I mean, there's not going to be any spikes getting out of there. So you're going to have a really clean signal entering the path. And uh, you're going to improve tone, bass, just overall sound. Um, so it's a win-win. All right. So that's why we replace filter caps. Um, but yeah. Real nice unit. Um, I mentioned that it's a friend of mine, so uh, you know, extra care is uh, given to it. Uh, eh, I guess not extra care. Any, any unit I work in gets 100% care, but this is a really nice unit. Um, you know, always use a rubber mat underneath. Um, I have a Lazy Susan, but you know, this is probably 60 pounds of, of uh, of just amazingness so <laughs> i don't want to take any chances of it wobbling um so i'm gonna you know just as i work on it pick it up turn it pick it up turn it don't drag it please i see people dragging these things over work services you know, take your time you know there's not many of these left you know, this one has no dents in the fins uh and uh, you know i want to keep it that way all right so next video we'll tear into it um real good bones it should be a pretty straightforward, uh, you know, repopulation of, of all the boards.